Okay, my review for this video is Chariots of Fire. Uh, I should tell you about my experience uh, with the movie, my personal experience. Um, you know, I when you reach a certain age and you, you develop a, a love for movies, as, as I did at, at a young age, um, you always want to see the best movies. You always want to see, you know, the Academy Award winning movies. Which which ones won? Um, particularly some of the older ones, like definitely, you know, uh, there are a lot of other movies that uh, you may have already seen, but uh, one uh, that I did watch, I think it was maybe 11 or 12 when I watched it, uh, was Chariots of Fire. Um, I saw it on TV. Uh, basically, TVO, TV Ontario, d does this thing every week, or did this thing every week, I don't know if they still do it, um, called Saturday Night at the Movies, where they'd show two films um, of note, uh, where they'd uh, show them, and then uh, commercial free, uh, and they'd show them. And they'd uh, kind of, in between movies, they'd do interviews with either critics or, you know, cast members, crew members, what have you, and talk about the movie. Well, I, I did watch uh, Chariots of Fire um, all those years ago, um, and pretty much I, I don't think I was too impressed with it. Um, I was kind of barely paying attention to it. I thought it was kind of boring. Um, you know, I'm like, really, this won the Oscar? What? movies not get good before I was born or something. Um, so yeah, I mean, it wasn't a pleasant experience, but you know, all, all these years went by. I mean, this, we're talking over 10 years uh, went by, and I kind of got uh, an itch to see it again, just because, I mean, if you don't like a movie once the first time, you should probably, you know, at least try it again if, if you know, you, you think uh, you want to do it. Um, and what kind of inspired me to uh, see the movie again was last year um, when they came out with a Blu-ray special edition of Chariots of Fire. Um, this movie, of course, won four Academy Awards, uh, including Best Picture, won Best Picture. Um, and I, I really got to say, the, the, the Blu-ray, this is the way the movie should be seen. I mean, not on a TV where the resolution is bad. Uh, cropped, full screen, horrible. Watching this movie on Blu-ray uh, was an incredible experience. The, for one thing, the transfer is pristine. It is exquisite. This movie looks incredible on Blu-ray. Um, I, I don't know how they did it, but they, they cleaned it up to, to almost look like it, the movie could have been made today. Uh, I know that's something you always say, but it's true. It's true. Um, so, I mean, Blu-ray has been this, this great uh, uh, technology that really kind of invites you to, to revisit movies that... Uh, you know, see them in, in a new way. Um, so I, I'm, a, I'm a great admirer of the format. And, you know, kind of this is a movie where it does get better upon repeat viewings. Uh, definitely when I watched it uh, last year, and I, I did watch it uh, a few days before doing this video. Um, really, really a, a completely different experience uh, watching this movie. Um, definitely a, a lot better of an experience. And I think this is a great film. Um, and it is, you know, kind of an, an inspirational sports movie of sorts. Um, basically about two Olympic runners who participate in the 1924 Olympics um, in France. Um, one is uh, Eric Little, uh, who is a, a China-born Scotsman, a devout Christian. Um, the other is uh, H. Abrams, Abrams, H. Abrams, uh, who is uh, English but a Jew. Um, and kind of their, their training and, and their... Uh, victories uh, in, in the Olympic Games. And kind of what it is about this movie, I mean, it is about two runners and their training and, and, and their victories, um, but it's a lot more than that. I, I mean, it's definitely, they they compete and they win and, and they pretty much fight for ideals um, and, and legacies and uh, for their country, for for their religions, uh, for themselves and for their schools and, and for for honor, really, um, and it, it's kind of a beautiful story in that sense, and, and I mean, this kind of movie, particularly with the, the Abrams character, who, you know, he does come off as kind of conceited, and, uh, you know, when he doesn't win a race, he, you know, pouts over it, and he's like, I have to be the best, I am the best, um, it, it, it is really subtle, uh, I mean, the, the racism, uh, that this character deals with day to day, so much so when when I when I watched the movie for the first time, I didn't even notice there was any kind of issue uh, being being a Jew in those times. Um, I mean, you got to keep in mind this is 1920s. This World War II hadn't even happened yet, um, and it was a very subtle form of racism that, that again day to day that he had to deal with. Um, you know, and he even mentions that he's like, you know, I'm I'm running away from being Jewish. It's it's always these little things like uh, the, the the curl of a smile at the end of a remark or the reluctance in a handshake. Um, so I do think it deals with 
uh, racism, particularly anti-Semitism, um, in, in, in more of a kind of realistic way. Because that's kind of, I mean, there's definitely horrible things that, that uh, you know, stem from, from racism, extreme things. Um, but a lot of it is, you know, the, the little things, the little comments. Is, uh, oh, with a name like Abraham, she won't be uh, singing in the church choir, will you? Um, what are you practicing, backdoor law? Like, little things like that. It's not like, you know, like school ties or, or whatever, where they write, go home Jew, and Brendan Fraser's, like, cowards, you know, not nothing like that. Um, but, you know, it, it, it does develop this character's drive very effectively. Um, and in contrast to him, there, there is uh, the little character. Um, and again, it is about his religious beliefs, his conviction, um, and, and how the games, they do happen to take place on the Sabbath day, on Sunday. So he refuses uh, to, to race on that day because of his convictions. And, and he, he will not be swayed, uh, no matter, even when he's, you know, taken into the back room and, you know, given a talking to, you know, how can we convince you, young, young lad? Um, so, I mean, I mean, definitely, you know, the religious conviction of that character is, is very moving um, in a certain way. I mean, you don't have to be religious to like this movie and to, to you know, admire the character for that. Um, you know, he even says you know, religion is like running; it, it requires concentration, it requires persistence, um, and so you know all the, all that I, I really liked about the movie. So they're they're running in a race, but they're they're running for something quite more, uh, quite a a more abstract concept than than just a, a simple victory, so, sim simply getting to the the finish line, basically. Um, the movie itself, I mean, uh, it's again beautifully shot, and like. The, the camera in this movie is something I, I didn't appreciate upon the first view, especially when I, I just watched it recently. The camera just has such a life to it. Like, I mean, especially, like, you know, uh, in some of the school scenes, the camera just moving around and witnessing everything, really inviting you along, and it's very beautifully done. Um, and in the slow motion shots as well, very, very effectively done, even though, you know, uh, it's, you know, almost cliche now. But, I mean, this is a movie that everybody is familiar with, even if they haven't seen it. Like, everybody knows the music. Vangelis, uh, the, the Oscar-winning score that he did for this movie. You know, dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. You know, great score. Um, Well-deserved at the Oscar. And, and kind of something it's that you don't see with a movie like this too much. And that kind of brings a unique edge to it. Because in any other movie, maybe it would have had, like, you know, the orchestra or something. But because it has kind of, like, the synth music to it, um, it creates and enhances the experience and... In a, in a way that, uh, you know, otherwise maybe would have made the movie feel a little too, a little too much, maybe. Um, movie won Best Picture. Uh, it wasn't nominated for any acting except for uh, Ian Holm, which I, I believe, um, you know, I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I believe this is the only Oscar nomination he received in his career, uh, which sucks because he's such a great actor, but it's, it's also cool that he got a nomination for it. Um, playing the trainer, um, uh, Musabini, I think his name is, um, they mentioned he's, he's part Arab or something like that, but uh, he gives a great performance. It's a small one, but a good one. And I think, you know, coming off maybe something like, a, it was only like maybe five years after Rocky, I think they treated the character in a very kind of uh, smart way to, to not make him like, you know, the trainer involved with the life too, too much. Not like, you know, Mickey and Rocky or something like that. Um, so they make him as a trainer, make him, you know, uh, in, intimate, you know, with, with, uh, the, the process and, you know, involved, um, but not, you know, in an over the top kind of way. So he's not like every other trainer you see in every other movie. Um, so I thought it was a brilliant performance. He didn't win, um, but he was, it was maybe a little too small for him to, to get too much recognition, but I think the nomination itself was, was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I think this is a great movie. Again, it gets better with each viewing. Um, really, really something that uh, is enhanced by the Blu-ray exp experience. Um, so if, if this is kind of a movie maybe you saw a few years ago, maybe you thought, ah, it's kind of boring... Uh, definitely, it's 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 not a movie that you know you can watch like ten times a day or something like that. It does you know you have to be in the right mood for it basically. But I think it's a wonderful film, a powerful film, and yes, an inspiring film. So I do think uh, it's it's uh, worthy of, of uh, having one. Um, can't remember what what else was nominated that year. I think maybe Indiana Jones uh, was nominated. Uh, Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark uh, was nominated. Um, but yeah, uh, whatever. I mean, no hard feelings. Um, so yeah, that's my review for Chariots of Fire, and thank you for watching.